like the system doesn't like new because it's unpredictable. So the system will welcome predictability. Get what I'm saying? Which gives you a lot less friction when you have predictability. The system loves status quo. Anybody denied that the system likes the status quo? Likes people doing the same old shit. It likes the same old God. It likes Jim Clyburn, Keith Weston. What you doing showing up? Medicare for all. I got your Medicare for all. We don't need Medicare for all. What, what black people need is to listen to me. Because I know everything. The most progressive person in politics. I'm more progressive than Bernie Sanders and MLK put together. I was I was in jail when I met my wife. And and I'm now, I met the pharmaceutical companies. And then we tied the knot. And, and, and I, I was staying up against anybody. Put my record up against any other record. You can put it up against the Prince, the Purple Rain album. Put my record up against the, the, the 50 Cent. Get Rich or Die Trying album. Put it up there. Put my record up there. And my record's gonna play well. It's got all the right beats on it. I had the people of South Carolina always on my mind. Always on my mind. And I'm always for the black people. That's why I support Joe. Because I know Joe and Joe knows us. And I know pharmaceutical money. Oh, I know pharmaceutical money. I can smell it. Ooh, pharmaceutical money. It's like mama's cooking. It's like barbecue sauce. Mm-mm. Mm. Damn, that's some good eating. And I love barbecue sauce. Did I tell you I'm the most progressive person in Congress? Ain't nobody more progressive than me. I'm more, progr I'm more progressive than that India Walton. I used to play on the Waltons. I was one of those things that sat in the yard, in the front yard, holding a lamp. Y'all didn't know that was me. See, you don't know we're not about Jim. Jim been around. I don't know where y'all been. I talk angry like this and people disagree with me because they're scared of me. I don't blink. I like pharmaceutical money. I know Joe. I'm the most progressive person ever born. I'm more progressive than Jesus. Jesus called me up. He said, Jim. Jim, what should I do? I said, take some fish and feed the people. He went down. <laughs> he went down to the curry out, got some fish, some flounder, put it between some bread. Mm -mm. Mm. Damn, that's some good eating. That's what it did. Because I'm the most progressive person in the world. I'm more progressive than Mama Teresa, Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa was like, Jimmy, Jimmy, what should I do? I said, you should heal people. Open your doors. Let them in. Tell them to take their shoes off, though. Don't be tracking nothing in Jim Clyburn's world. That's what you should do. I ain't blink yet. That's because I know Joe and Joe knows me. Did I tell you I'm the most progressive? I'm the most progressive. And I love pharmaceutical money. I wish that Tim Black would keep my name out of his mouth. I'm going to have somebody hurt his ass. I'm going to have somebody come for him. I'm tired of him. I'm going to get Bakari Sellers. Bakari, go down to see Tim Black. Talk to him. Have a conversation. Don't tell him I sent you. I'm going to have Ben Dixon go talk to Tim Black. Well, Ben going to get his ass kicked, but, you know, oops, I blinked. Pharmaceutical money, pharmaceutical money. Medicare for all is bad. You don't want health care. Dying ain't so bad. Always worrying about dying. That's what's wrong with you niggas. I mean, that's what's wrong with black people. Worrying about dying. What's wrong with dying? Everybody got to die. But you only got one life to live and one life to give to Tim, Jim Clyburn, the most progressive congressman in the history of Congress people. I'm more progressive than Abraham Lincoln when he freed the slaves. Stop worrying about dying. Stop worrying about health care. 
So much you can't afford your medication. You don't need them. Go for walks. Sometimes you just need to go for a long walk. I know walks like I know Joe. I'm the most progressive. I'm running out of things to say. I've only blinked three times. But I'm mad and I'm loud and I'm black and I'm angry. That makes people shut up. Now shut your ass up. Me and Nancy used to have a thing. Me and Dan Feinstein had a thing. Tim Black, you'll never be as funny as Jimmy Doerr. He's way funnier than you. You don't know what comedy is. You ain't no black comedian. You ain't funny, you got no sense of humor. That Ron Placone, now that's funny. He's 4'8", and he's funny. I put him in my pocket with my pharmaceutical money. Him and Graham Elwood, he's good. You're not good. You suck to him, Black. You're too black, you got no hair, and your eye wanders. I can't trust a man whose eye wanders. Now you shut up. We progressive, you ain't. I like Andrew Yang. I don't like you. So you never know the crazy shit I'm going to say on Freedom Friday. These are called jokes. I like Ron. Lee Camp's not funny. But it's funnier than you, Tim Black. He got long hair. He on RT. What you on? YT. You on Twitch. You don't have enough money to invite Jim Clyburn on your show. I'm going to go on Roland Martin's show. I'm going to roll with Roland Martin. That's what I'm rolling. Now roll me up something. Or roll out of here. Did I tell you I'm the most progressive congressman in the history of progressivism? I met my wife in jail. I also met my husband in jail. That's right, Jim Clyburn swings both ways. What's wrong with that? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I support that. Don't let great be the enemy of the good. I'm black, I'm loud, and I'm mad. And when I get that way, you can't contradict me. Black people ain't gonna have no wealth when I'm done with them. I hate black people. If you see me with a black person, I ain't doing nothing but holding them for the police. I like pharmaceutical money. Tim Black is playing this as far as it could go. Need to let this go. But Keith Weston, he supports this show big time. And he asked me to do this impression. I'm the most progressive black man in the history of blackness. I'm, a, I'm more progressive than Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman called me up one time. She was on the train. You know, the Freedom Train. The Underground Railroad. And she said, Jim Clyburn. I was only 22 at the time. I said, what is it? She said, don't take that pharmaceutical money. I said, shut up, Harriet. What kind of name is Harriet anyway? I took that pharmaceutical money and I put it to good use. I bought me some hair plugs. Afro hair plugs. You know how expensive that is? Man. Y'all gonna have me go to hell, man. <laughs>